journal book. I started out with a journal, a blank journal that had leather on it. And what and size is this? This is, what is that, like 7 by 10? Okay. Maybe? Something like that. And then I took the pages out, I cut the book out, and that's so why I just had the leather. And then I bought this wood, it's just cheap wood you can get in the art supply store. And you can cut it with a knife, just a normal knife. Uh, okay. So it's thin uh, enough. Knife. Yeah, and then I just sanded a little bit to make it more comfortable. I traced another palette. So I would have the right shape for my thumb. Mm -hmm. And then I can just hold it in one hand. And then everything is velcro on. Oh, so I can right. put velcro. either a postcard size. This is 6 by 8. And then here's the paints. So those are velcro -ed. Where did you buy that little watercolor thing? This, um, I bought this on Amazon. At the Schmanke brand has a bunch of different oh. styles. And this is one I like because this part you can lift out. Oh. So you buy the little pans empty and separate, and then you put the pans in, it comes empty. And then you can lift this out to rinse it off and put it back. And I put something underneath there so it doesn't drip while I'm carrying it around. And then I mix on there, and then this is my water. I and so you bought those and glued them on? Yeah. So I bought these separately, these little plastic jars. They're plastic, but I like the color because it makes right. them look nice. Yeah, they go with it. <laughs> So those are two little, I usually start with one water and then I switch to the next one when it gets dirty. And then I need a little sponge because I sometimes forget my paper towel, so at least I have a little sponge. So I Oh my that. gosh, everything. Yeah. So cute. And then these are my adorable little rosemary brushes. I have to get some of those. I love these. These are great. My favorite one is the squirrel mop. Squirrel mop. Squirrel mop. This is great because it gets really, really wide. And so you can get texture mm -hmm. or do a wash. And it gets also really, really thin, so you can do detail. So I do almost all my painting just with that. And so you bought some leather and you made a little yeah. pouch. So the leather is from an old pair of gloves I don't wear anymore. So I cut up the gloves. They were gloves that went up your arm. Uh -huh. And so they had a big chunk of leather that I could use. So I made a little pouch. Just I glued everything because I don't know right. how to work with this stuff besides gluing. These are... Uh, brass um, hinges yeah. that I just bought in the hardware store. But I didn't like how they looked. They were too gaudy. Okay, uh -huh. So I just glued a little bit of leather on top to make them look a little nicer. And then I have my knife in here. I have an eraser and pencil so I can do a little drawing. Okay, and, and, you, then, and you just paint with this on your lap? Yeah, I just hold it. I can even stand up and paint just like that, or I sit mm. at a table or whatever I want. I've done a couple sketches. So that is genius. Yeah, that's fine. And then at the end of the day, that folds back up. I take the painting off here. Mm -hmm. This is a watercolor block, so it's sealed on three sides, oh, but it sheets the paper, right, right. so it keeps the paper flat. So I take off my painting. It usually dries pretty quick on a hot day. And then I just can wrap it all up, stick it in my bag. It's super lightweight. Perfect! Yeah!